हमारे साथ है इंडियन स्पेस रिसर्च ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के चेयरमैन डॉक्टर एस सोमनाथ सर थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर ज्वाइनिंग अस पहले मेरा सवाल है कि एस चेयरमैन आपका आउटलुक क्या है और टॉप प्रायोरिटीज क्या है इसरो के लिए थैंक यू आई लुक फॉरवर्ड फॉर ग्रेट अकम्पलिशमेंट इंडियन इंडियन स्पेस प्रोग्राम पहले मैं ऐसा बोलना चाहता हूँ कि हम रॉकेट के बारे में या वगैरह के बारे में हम एस्टैब्लिश है वी हैव ऑलरेडी नो क्रिएटेड ऑल दैट व्हाट इज नीडेड बट दैट व्हाट इज नीडेड फ्यूचर इज टू मेक द स्पेस रिफॉर्म प्रोग्राम ओपन टू एवरीबडी टू मेक इट अवेलेबल टू एवरीबडी सो दिस इज द टॉप प्रायोरिटी सो फॉर दैट वी नीड टू क्रिएट द इंस्टीट्यूशनल मैकेनिज्म uh and also legal and legislative mechanisms are to be created so iske bare mein hum soch vichar kar rahe hain aap and we have to work with the, all the stakeholders departments of the government of india uh, then the all the users and bring them uh, to the forefront also we announced the formation of in space and also the strengthening of ensil so both these mechanisms are to be fully functional now already there is a chairman uh, dr pavan goenga is uh, very active so we need to strengthen his hands to help the all the startups and the new space actors to come into into the, uh, the forefront so these are the priorities now sir bharat ke atmanirbhar bharat initiative or private sector jo hai space inke bare mein bataiye aur in, inse aapke kya expectations hai aur inko kya support isro ki taraf se mil sakti hai you know aapko pata hai ab uh, uh, sirf uh, 50 uh, स्टार्टअप से हम हमारे यहाँ रॉकेट में काम करते हैं सुबग्रह में काम करते हैं ऑल दिस स्टार्टअप्स आर रियली फैंटास्टिक एंड आई नो एटलीस्ट टेन ऑफ देम वेरी क्लोजली दे आर वर्किंग इन नो डिफिकल्ट फील्ड वेरी एक्साइटेड यंगस्टर्स सो बीन इंटरेक्टिंग विद मेनी ऑफ देम दे आर ए वंडरफुल लॉट बिकॉज दे आर लुकिंग फॉर द अपॉर्चुनिटी इन स्पेस सेक्टर लुकिंग एट द प्रोस्पेक्ट इन दिस एरिया so they have been uh, looking how the already developed technologies and knowledge in the space sector can be made use of how to allow them to operate uh, uh, doing all this in india without any hassles of uh, legal and other institutional complexity so we we have to we have to take them along so unless these young people come up and then uh, create this uh, system there will not be any innovation now we are th- their their new ideas are the future so then only india can make any something different than what we have been do what the world is doing so that's why it is very very exciting sir startups ke bare mein aapne itne insightful manner mein describe kiya to uh, india mein jo bade bade private industries aur corporate houses hain wo kaise help kar sakte hain it ya its sector mein yani uh, manufacturing sector mein wo kaise contribute kar sakte hain no hamare yahan bada bada audyogik sthan hai no institutions hai you know in the engineering giants say yeah it giants say so they they are very very uh, wealthy and they can really come into this domain i have been calling them so come and invest in space you know this is an exciting area and another thing you can do is to help these startup companies to you know support them financially uh, and also organizationally because space is such an unforgiving area uh, these startups once they getting get into the area they may survive only if they are successful in their initial launches and initial missions so they should be supported to handle failures uh, unless they are supported they they may not su- succeed because uh, uh, with the financial support and the institutional support only it is possible but we can isro can help them in technology support but they need a much bigger support from big houses so big houses of industry are to take up this challenge to build uh, huge systems for the country सर आजकल के जमाने में रियूजेबल रॉकेट्स दैट इज वर्टिकल टेक ऑफ लैंडिंग रॉकेट्स को देखने को मिल रहे हैं और इसके अलावा जो है एडवांस टेक्नोलॉजी जैसे प्लेन से रॉकेट को लॉन्च करने का एग्जांपल्स भी हम देख रहे हैं तो इसरो इस टाइप के इनिशिएटिव्स में क्या क्या काम कर रहे हैं सर थोड़ा इंसाइट्स दे सकते हैं प्लीज नो वी आर डेवलपिंग ऑलरेडी अ रियूजेबल रॉकेट द विंग रियूजेबल रॉकेट हवाई जहाज के समान नो टेक ऑफ करते हैं लैंड करते हैं लैंडिंग स्ट्रिप पे Uh, but uh, the that is one class of reusable rocket but the most important class that has now come up is the vertical take off and vertical landing jab uh, i say uh, elon musk kar rahe hai na uh, yes uh, landing vertically landing rocket so i say rocket hum banane ki koshish karte hai but you know uh, to make such a rocket we need an engine which is uh, uh, much different than what our engine that we have a throttling capability is required then control and technology for landing is to be developed so one of the most important thing that we must design develop is uh, this capability reuse rocket 
unless we reuse the rocket, the cost of the rocket, which is huge part of the entire launch cost, cannot be rec recovered. So other people are launching them tens of times again and again. So it, it, the cost become one tenth of the original cost. Yeah? You understand that. So this is what we have to do, and we will work on it in the future. Sir, Bharat ke lagbhag 50 saal ke legacy hai space industry mein aur ISRO ke karan. So its future kya hai, sir? Like in terms of launch vehicles, advanced launch vehicles, or in terms of miniaturizing satellites and electronics. Is me am kya kya kam kar rahe hain? No, our here, industries say, uh, and uh, and if you have to make this space program more, I know, reachable to people, then we have to bring space applications into every activity of this country. So this is the first thing to do. So create an economic activity around space, you know, institution. So this is the first thing. And once you have, then there will be demand for more satellites. So once you have demand for more satellites, there will be people building satellites in private sector and you know, numbers in hundreds and thousands they will be built like cars. Then there will be a demand for launch vehicle. No, then you will understand that it cannot be launched with the available rockets in India. So the new rockets will have to come up. So it is a chain of things. No, the, the real trigger has to happen in using user side. See, you know, if you have built a car of very good car, no, may put it out to market and there is nobody wants it. How will you produce? Even if you have an industry capable of producing thousands of cars per day. So really you have to create the need as well as you know, the use in the user segment. So this is the first thing to do. Uh, so here we have a lot of work to do. We have to work with the departments of government of India, various stakeholders, industries, you know, we create uh, you know, applications in data uh, transmission, you know, imagery, remote you know, navigation side, etc. etc. So then this, the whole thing will grow. Sir, Gaganyan ke liye Bharat dher saare initiatives le rahe hain aur uh, in mein se ek initiative hai human rating of the launch vehicle aur in, in ke liye dher saare tests bhi kar rahe hain. Toh in tests ke baare mein thoda explain ki jai humare viewers ke liye. The yeah, human rating process, you know, aisa hai ki hum uh, kai redundancy will, you know, we will build into the rocket. See, so in a rocket there are engines, no, you cannot put another engine. But you can put a better control system no? so that the engine uh, can be controlled by one system. If it fails, another system can be brought in. Similarly, the electronics, no, uh, electronics system can be duplicated. So we call it dual redundant. But in human rated rocket, we put four such systems. So it's called quad redundant. So even if one fails, second will take over, second fail, third will take over. This is one approach. Second approach is uh, to make the system more fail tolerant. That means you look at where there is a weakness, you know, correct it, test it more. You test hardware in more numbers, so get more confidence. You put controls in the progress process of manufacturing so that there are no weak elements getting in. You know, Non-qualified items don't come in. You control processes everywhere, including storage, manufacturing, cleanliness, certification, people who actually work on it. Everything is controlled. So the rocket becomes very reliable though this is called human writing and for that we contact lot of us sir gaganyan ke liye der sare deshon ke sath bharat uh, international collaboration bhi kar rahe hain tracking support hai ki uh, manufacturing support jo bhi hai der sare collaboration chal rahe hain iske bare mein yeah. thoda insight dijiye please see we are working with all all uh, space agencies uh, especially for uh, gaganyan program uh, there are lot of knowledge in uh, other countries who have already gone to space and um, Many you know astronauts to space, cosmonauts to space. So we have been with them, asking them to help us because it is a global capability that we are developing in this country, and they are ready to happy to give us those support whichever is needed. Uh, but there are critical technologies nobody will share, so that we have to develop inside, you know, uh, like elements of you know, environmental control and life support system. It's something that we have to do ourselves. But of course, we can get some uh, astronaut uh, wearing the jackets and the suit we can get. Uh, we can get some element seat we can get, but they will not give you the crew module. They will not give you the parachute systems that will land. You know, those things we have to develop. Uh, the propulsion system we have to develop. Uh, they are ready to train us, train our crew, because there is already established facilities in, the, in America, Europe, and Russia to train astronauts. So we are making use of the help. Uh, so, um, I say we are we tracking kar, ke after, after launching, you know, the satellite goes around the entire globe. So, ground station say, so say, hum, um, um, ye, you know, satellites go track karna hai, unse karna hai, astronauts go, they have to feel comfortable inside. You know, somebody is talking to them, their family is talking to them, wherever they are in the world. So, almost 100% coverage we need to get. 
So, uh, and also in case of emergency, they have to land in sea or land or anywhere, anywhere in the globe, they can be directed or handled by the support of all the uh, space agencies in the world. So, these are the type of collaborations that we do. Sir, in the coming tenure, in your tenure, that is, in uh, three years, there are many high-profile missions, whether it's Chandrayaan 3, Gaganyaan, Aditya L1, NASA, ISRO, collaborative mission or nasa uh, i mean isro and japan collaborative uh, mission ho jo bhi ho itne missions uh, bahut exciting time hai sir how excited are you as chairman and also as a you know rocket person who is a propulsion man uh mera kaam hai rocket pe but i am interested in uh, everything in space space science satellites electronics mechanical engineering no i am passionate about everything so i can learn i will learn uh, as much as le- I learned so far and further also. But then all these are very, very exciting domains. But the most important part is we have such a strong team in this row already, you know, available across the centers, across the places. And there are great leadership in all these uh, you know, centers. So what I need to do, do is only to inspire them, you know, help them to envis- make their vision possible, to create the support system in the organization. So I'm really excited. Uh, they will come out with ideas. You know, I don't have to do anything. <laughs> they will definitely come out with greater ideas. I need to figure out whether this is something that is worth for the occasion. Uh, it is something that is useful for the country and it is useful for us in the future. So once that figuring out is done, uh, I am sure we will be able to go to government and then tell the government, yes, this is something that we need to support for the future. So I believe it will be possible with all the support of the organization, the people of this country, and also the stakeholders of space program. We will have definitely a greater uh, time set. Sir, for you and for Indian Space Research Organization, ke liye se, um, best wishes and hearty congratulations. For your vision, for your ideas, for your materialize, for your prayers and for your prayers. Thank you very much for this exclusive conversation with Z-Media. Ke liye, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Namaskar.